Hey guys, I want to welcome you to this new video series that we're doing. It's myself and Justin Steiner. He is a local city councilman, recently elected, and also a mortgage professional. And of course, you know me from all the videos that I push out all the time about Carter Ranch and Salina and that sort of thing. So we're doing this uh, collaborative effort to try and bring you information that we think you might find helpful about Carter Ranch and how the home sales are going and what the mortgage rates are and things like that. But more importantly, we're gonna bring you information and fun things from the community itself, from the city of Salina, from Carter Ranch, from all around the area, things that we think you're gonna be interested in that you're gonna enjoy. So what I'd like to do is just ask you for one favor and that is to comment below as to whether or not you have actually sold a home purchased a home within the last five years. So all you have to do is say yes, just leave a comment that says yes if you have either sold or purchased a home within the last five years and no if not. Anyways guys, I look forward to bringing you more videos like this and I'm gonna get right now to that video and let you take a look at our very, very first production and uh, see what you think about it. Anyways guys, take care and I will see you soon on another video. So give me something to do, yeah I can't stay here because I need to dance Jump, jump around and show them how I move Hey guys, Ron Lyons here with Ron Lyons Realty and today I've got this very good looking guy here with me. Perhaps you realize that uh, you've seen him before and that's probably the case because uh, this is Justin Steiner. Justin is a local mortgage professional and he's one of the best in the area. He's also very involved in the community. How's, uh, how's everything going as far as the new city council position? It's, it's going really well, you know, so um, I'm in my first month in my term and uh, it's been very, uh, very great to be part of this great community and actually having the decisions that we're making and all the growth that we're having and the smart growth that is coming. So yeah, it's going very well. We've got a few things for you today that I think you're gonna like. We're gonna talk a little bit about what's going on in the market. We're gonna talk about mortgage rates. We're gonna talk about how fast homes are selling and things like that. We're also gonna tell you about some up and coming things. Uh, we're kind of focusing a little bit on Salina today. Some of the things that are going on around Salina and we've got a very special guest today. You wanna tell them who we're gonna interview today? Yeah, we're gonna be interviewing Ralph Odell. He's a long time Salina resident. Um, great history that he's gonna tell us about and uh, he's going to tell us about the flag program too that is is so uh, helpful to our community as well okay good well i look forward to talking to ralph from what i understand he's got a very uh vivid history and is part of the fabric of the community around yes, salina so i look forward to that and hearing all about the flag program yeah i'm restless so give me something to do Justin, give me just a little bit of an idea. Give our give our viewers a little bit of an idea of what the market looks like right now yeah, from the mortgage yeah, perspective. Rates have actually been the lowest they've been in nearly 21 months. So right now, if, if you qualify for the best rates out there and things like that with the best qualifications, you're looking about 3.875% APR at 4%. So you have to qualify for that, obviously, but um, I have a great program right now that I'm offering. It's a 1% down for hometown heroes. That's for your teachers, for your first responders, for for anyone that has served. 1% down, just think about that. The mortgage insurance is very inexpensive. It's a right. great program to just help out our community leaders. Well, Justin, that sounds like a fantastic program. So uh, tell us again, now, if I was interested in applying for that yeah. um, or finding out more information, how can I get a hold of you? 
Yeah, there's multiple ways. Uh, you can check me out online at www.justinsteiner.com. Okay. You can also email me at uh, jsteiner at city dot bank or my phone number is 469-855-9062. Uh, Justin, what do you say we uh, we run inside? I think we've got uh, Ralph waiting inside. Let's yes, let's go inside, good. talk to him. It is, uh, I think he's going to talk to us about Flag Day, if yep. I remember right. He's a World War II vet. Yes, he is. And uh, I really look forward to talking to him. So let's, he's a good let's guy. Go, I'm looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, let's go inside and have a chat. Hey, everyone. This is Justin Steiner here in, uh, in the beautiful Solana. Now, I'm so happy to tell you this. Today is June 14th, it's Flag Day. And I'm a proud member of the Preston Trail Rotary Club. And uh, I've been a member now for four years. And here with me, I have Ralph O'Dell. He is a two-time, he's a current president of the of the Rotary. And he is, this is your second term, is that right, right now? That you served? Ray Dredd. <laughs> <laughs> he's a longtime Solana resident. I mean, you, you were born in West, Weston, weren't you? Uh -huh. So, and now you went to high school here in Solana before we really had a football team, right? Before football was a big deal at all. That's right. Right? So tell us a little bit about, so you, you were born and raised here and uh, you wrote your course to school. I mean, you know the stories everyone about walking to school and he actually did that. I mean, it just, he, he actually did that kind well, of stuff. Well, at the old level school, uh, we had a way of horse stalls for the horses to spend the day in while the kids are in class. And uh, Can you imagine? Some, some, some of the folks in the, like the quarter family. Did the teachers they, make you clean the horse stalls if you were in trouble? It was your own horse stall. You, you let it really? that deep in there, that was your problem. But school did not, so they just uh, supplied the land that, that the really? stalls were on. They didn't uh, take care of anything. There was, no, there was nothing so in the budget to do this. <laughs> no tax money yet. That's Nothing. There was no Lucy's for us to pay for that yeah, right. sales tax. So you were, you also served in the army, is that right? So where were you stationed? Well, we started out in California and then went to New Guinea and the Philippines. And, and before we jumped off here to put Japan, we because I did not go any further than the Philippines. Well, we were all over that. All Thank you for your service, though, by the way. Thank you for your service. You're welcome. Now you just celebrated your 44th birthday, right? Well, <laughs> I call it the 49th. 49th, got it. So you just reverse numbers, just reverse numbers? Turned it around and it made the 94. That's great. Now you've been married now, I, I, I met you, I've met your lovely wife in... 76 years. 76 years. So, any, any so secrets... the same woman. To say... <laughs> The same woman. Now, any any secrets that you want to give any of us that are still early on? Like I've been there for, goodness gracious, one, two, three, four, five. I, so since 2002. So I'm I'm moving higher, but not close to 76 years. Any secrets you want to give us? <laughs> you always lose the argument. You only lose the argument. So <laughs> just yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's right. You never win an argument. Well, so so tell us. Let's move on a little bit to. What's your favorite memory about Salina? Like, what do you love most about Salina? I guess about the old days, uh, things around the square here. Uh, used to have what you call a drawing. And, uh, oh, what? Made, and have, a, have a drawing to oh. the, the... I think it's a The business the 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 contributed uh, $10 or, or groceries or what have you. And they have, have a drawing every Saturday. And, Got There's it. pictures up at the museum of this this activity, and you wonder where the hell that all the cars came. Is from that what that was? There. All the cars parked in the cars square, all around the square out there. And That's before we had a gazebo, before we had the grass, all that stuff, right? Well, we used to have the the uh, tower there that had the fire station and the signal on it, huh. and at Christmas time they decorated it with lights, and uh, it was the center of the square. The square was not as beautiful in the grass and everything as it is today, but it was still not what, it, what you see today was there 60, 70, 100 years ago, really. Wow. So tell us a little bit about the flag program and, and how that how that helps support our community and Rotary. The right flag program is a program that the Rotary furnishes the flags and the, the uh, poles and everything and put out. and. The, Boy Scouts, local scouts here in Salina and also in Gunter, which the Gunter is part of the Preston Trail Rotary. Uh, the, uh, 
they put the flags out for us on the five holidays that we have on, on display. Now we have about 500 flags right now in the community. Is that right? About 496, I think it is, something like that. So um, my my family and I, we we are part of the Cub Scouts, and we put flags out. And uh, just it's a great program. I mean, we have five days, Memorial Day, Flag Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, and uh, Veterans Day, all days that are that flags are put up and taken down for you if you're interested. So the fee is $50 a year if you are interested. And uh, it's a really great program because every single time that we've put up flags, we have neighbors saying, hey, how much is this? So it's $50 a year. Go to www.rotarysalana.org. Thank you, Justin. Well, Ralph, I really appreciate you, sir. I mean, thank you for meeting with us. So. You're welcome. My pleasure. Yeah, I'm restless, so give me something to do. Yeah, I can't stay here because I need to dance. Just jump around and show them how I move. Alright guys, welcome back. Now we're going to talk just a little bit about what's going on in Carter Ranch because um, Justin lives in Carter Ranch I and do. I live in Carter Ranch. So that kind of makes us have a very vested interest in particular in our own neighborhood. We're very interested in maintaining high property values and helping our neighbors understand what's going on in the market in Carter Ranch and what homes are selling for and all of that sort of thing. So. Now, the interesting thing about Carter Ranch is that unlike about two years ago, there is not a very specific set protocol for the way things are working out in there right now. You know, two years ago, there was like a kind of a standard price per square foot for certain sized homes and there was a certain demand factor. There was so many different things going on uh, two years ago that are just simply not the case right now. So um, what I see in looking at all the information, all the data, is that um, it, it just ranges from people who may be overpricing and sitting on the market, which brings all of its own problems. You know, you get market wear on a home and then people start to wonder, well, what's wrong with this home? How come it hasn't sold? And then you've got other people who are not wanting to mess around, not take any chances with that, and they're pricing their homes more appropriately and those homes are moving fast. So I wish I could sit here right now and say that there's a certain dollar per square foot price that all homes and Carter Ranch are gonna bring. That's just simply not the case. There's so many variables and the market is really just going through a state of change right now. So um, what you have to do, in my opinion, is take a look at all of the data, get with someone like myself who understands the market and figure out a plan of action that's going to help you get the most for your Carter Ranch home. So let me just give you an idea right now, just some real quick and fast boring statistics and then we'll get into uh, some of the whys and stuff like that. But essentially right now in Carter Ranch, you have 13 active listings as of today. Now that, that can change in a moment's notice. So, you know, none of these numbers are like set in concrete, but 13 active listings. And those range anywhere from $250,000 for the lowest up to three fifty nine nine dollars for the highest. And let me, I'm gonna run through real quick for you the number of days that these homes have been on the market so far. I've got one that's been on for 74 days. I've got another one that's been on for 71. I've got one at 58. Uh, unfortunately, there are a couple of homes that have been on for a substantial amount of time. There's one that's been on for 102 days, another one for 201 days. So you can kind of see that things are not exactly just jumping off the table. And, you know, we'll get into the, the reasons behind that in just a moment. Now, there's plenty of homes that have been on the market for around 40, 45, 46 days. And a few that are not yet going to be statistically um, relevant at this point. That have only been on the market for maybe two days or four days or something like that. We don't know exactly what they're going to do just yet. So it's kind of hard to say. But um, the, the sold homes, that's a good statistic to look at. That's a good bit of inventory to kind of see how things are going. So what I did is I looked at the last 90 days and essentially in Carter Ranch, now this is not including homes that are new construction. We're, we're taking new construction out of the mix because most people 
who just recently purchased a home are not looking to sell within the first year or so. So we're gonna bump on over to people who own their homes for. And I want to add something though too, is because new construction and not comps comparable home sales for these previously owned homes. So that's that's correct. Those. That's correct. So those those are not a factor in this. This is if you've owned your home for more than three years, then these statistics are relevant for you. So basically, right now, between uh, in the last 90 days, we've had 10 homes sold. And that means closed, like done deal, off the books. And just to kind of run through the, uh, the idea of how long some of those homes ended up sitting on the market, I've got on the, on the very, very worst end, I've got homes that sat for over 130 days. I've got some homes that were in the 70 to 80 day range. And then there are a few homes that sold in as little as three to six days. So if you can imagine, you've got homes that took 130 plus days, and then you've got homes that took three or six days. So you can understand what I was saying earlier about there is no clear cut path to figuring out exactly what the secret is. Um, now I do know what will work. Unfortunately, not everybody understands that, and that's why there are homes that have to do that, sit on the market, ultimately take a big price cut, and maybe get market worn, and it's just a stressful, terrible situation. If you're a person trying to sell, obviously you never want to go through that. We never want you to go through that, so we do everything we can to avoid that uh, as a possibility for you. But, you know, some of these homes, like um, here's one that sat on the market for a little while. They took a $5,000 drop. That doesn't mean they negotiated for 5000 down at the end of the deal. That means that during the time it was on the market, they reduced the price by five grand. Another one, $9,000 drop, a 7000 Here's a $15,000 price reduction in order to get the home sold. Another one had a $6,000 reduction. Now, some of these homes may have actually even uh, given up more of their selling price in the final negotiations, but those are numbers that they dropped during the time that the home was actually on the market and listed for sale. So um, what we wanna do, and I think you would agree with me on this, um, me and Justin are, are, are very much in agreement on how things are working right now in Carter Ranch. And what I believe that you need to do is number one, find out what we believe your home to be worth based on all of the features, the age of the home, the square footage, <clears throat> we'll pull all of the data. And Justin will work with me on that. We'll pull together all of the data. We'll see what your home is actually worth right now. And then what I suggest, and here's the secret, and I'm going to be actually training a bunch of other real estate agents right now whenever I tell you this, but you need to come in slightly under market in Carter Ranch right now. And I've been saying this for a little while, and it holds true. It still holds true. And you're saying, oh, why would I want to come under market? Because if you come in under market, you're going to generate interest in your home. You're going to create a buzz about your home. You're going to have people who are actually interested in seeing what it is because you're slightly less expensive. So that means you're going to get traffic. You get traffic, that makes other people believe that your home is in demand. Now, you're probably going to end up getting an offer slightly higher than what you're actually asking. So you're probably going to get end up getting market for your home. You may even go beyond that depending on your amenities, your features, and that sort of thing. But if you go in above market, which a lot of people are still thinking it's a super hot market and you can do that, you're probably going to be very disappointed. You're probably going to sit in your home. It's probably going to get market worn and you're probably going to end up ultimately, before it's all said and done, lowering the price down anyways to a point that you never really wanted to be at just in order to get things sold. So we want to avoid that up front. So my advice for you right now if i'm working for you as your realtors let's figure out the price the the true market value of your home and then let's come underneath that for just a little bit okay so if you're thinking about selling i think that uh, the first step is probably reach out to me and let's have that conversation about uh, what your home is worth you're not gonna have any pressure you're not gonna be forced into anything you're not gonna receive a million emails i'm not gonna be knocking on your door all the time you don't have to worry about that i just want to let you know truly what i believe your home is worth and then should you decide to sell, then I'm gonna be your guy. I'm definitely gonna help you do that. In that process, because both of us work together, now we're not in the same company, we're just, we, we do related business together because of that, because we're in similar industries and because we have a trust factor built up between us, then Justin's gonna be able to actually take you through that process of seeing what you can qualify for. 
So then I can help you find that next home or if you've already, you know, thought of an, a particular area, maybe you don't know exactly what, you know, your payments are going to be or something like that. No. Justin's going to be able to help you out with that. You want a trusted team. You want a trusted team to work with and that's what you got here. You want to have a team that works together, that's strong, that is on your side. So, I mean, if you, <clears throat> that's on your side and that's the most important thing because you want people that are in your quarter, corner working hard for you. Absolutely, and as I said earlier, both of us, um, you know, we've both been around Salina for a long time. We both happen to live in Carter Ranch right now, but um, we're very, very, very interested in the community and the, the growth of the community and the people who live here. We know what it's like to have a good quality lifestyle, and we want to ensure, to the best of our abilities, that we're helping you have that very high quality That's lifestyle. Right. So anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for joining us today. This is a regular series. We'd love for you to subscribe. We'd love for you to like the video. We'd love for you to do all of the things that everyone always asks you to do. Uh, most importantly, if you would, share this with someone who you think might could use it. If you have any ideas about anything that you'd like to see on a future broadcast or something like that on a future video, please send in the uh, the idea to either one of us again Justin you want to share your contact information one more time yeah um, my website is www.justinsteiner.com cell phone 469-855-9062 or email me at jsteiner at city with a y dot bank good and mine is ron at frisco real estate dot net it says frisco real estate because everyone knows where frisco is but I specialize in frisco Salina Prosper McKinney that sort of thing. I've got a, a whole separate contact information at ronlinesrealty.com. We won't even go there right now. Just remember <laughs> friscorealestate.net. Ron at 214-783-5440 is my phone number. And uh, you can check out my website at friscorealestate.net, obviously. And uh, we look forward to bringing you more episodes. They're going to be really awesome. We've got some amazing people. Of course, you got to see today uh, Ralph. Ralph was Ralph is something. He's a, he's a local um, icon around here and he that was that was really fun talking to him and we hope you enjoyed it as much as we did and we look forward to uh, seeing you yeah. real soon great and you want to watch uh, Roku now I mean we can watch uh, 100 <laughs> Melissa you want to come in here and watch 100 with us would you um, <laughs> would you uh, be willing to make me a cup of coffee or something okay we'll see you next time <laughs>